We're going to do another quick video here, a little review of the York Legacy dumbbells that we picked up recently, and we'll compare them here to uh, the roundhead set of when they York cast all the roundheads in the USA and the, the model that they tried to copy for uh, the Legacy dumbbells that they sell now. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so right here we have the uh, original style roundhead, the 100, and then this is the legacy style for the 105. Uh, these are obviously gonna be the closest in weight to each other, so that way the, um, the, the increase in weight doesn't change the way they look more than just the styling differences. And then right off the bat here with these two, you can see um, the legacy is much more, uh, has a much more pronounced round uh, end than the uh, original roundhead does. But the uh, original round head you see has a, a little bit of a broader face, uh, is a little bit longer in, in total length, and the font is uh, much different between the two of these. Uh, it's much thinner on the original round head. They went with a much thicker font for the, uh, the legacy style they did. You'll see that the uh, uh, number uh, denomination on them is, is flipped on the legacy. Uh, so. Um, they obviously didn't make them as, as perfect copies of each other. Um, also, you'll see uh, another big difference here is going to be the handle. Uh, this handle is about 4.8 or 4.9 inches. I measured it with a, uh, just a, a body measure, a tape measure, a soft tape measure. Um, and this one here is, is 4.5. I measured that, but it also is what uh, you know the York website states they will be. Uh, also, difference in the handles. This is about a 29 millimeter handle. Uh, it's completely smooth, no knurling, if you'll zoom in. And then this here on the Legacy is about 32 millimeters from their website, and it has a light knurling on it. Uh, it's not going to tear your hands up. Uh, probably makes it a little easier to hold, but um, I actually prefer the regular round head dumbbell handle. It's, it's much easier for me to hold on to with the smaller handle. Even without knurling, it's much easier to hold in my experience. Uh, you'll see... In totality, these are very similar. Uh, same flattened bottom to stop them from rolling around on the, the floor or uh, on your rack. They're about the same height, just over seven inches. Um, uh, length is similar, but again, this is just a little bit longer in total length because uh, the handles are longer mostly. Uh, the finish on these, I refinished these with uh, satin black Rust-Oleum paint. And this is the original finish from York. Uh, you'll see that the finish is kind of worn on these. They're not very old, but the finish is kind of worn. It's, it's not great. If I, uh, when I use these, if my hand rubs against the inside on either side, it can leave a, a black residue. In fact, maybe I can show you. It'll leave a black residue on my hand. So I, I'm actually considering refinishing all of my legacies in the same satin black so that one they look more similar on the rack but also because the finish on these is not phenomenal um, you can see all the way around it's pretty worn um, but they, they look good on the rack together so it looks much better on the rack if you already have regular round heads to have them finished out with legacies than with like a hex or a uh, pro style dumbbell they look good next to each other um, and if if you're looking for maybe a dumbbell, because uh, they're not incredibly expensive either, the legacy set, and you can get them and they'll look like the old school round heads. You know, you can have a full rack from one to 150 of the legacy dumbbells and York will ship them straight to your house. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to scour Craigslist looking for round heads. And it'll give you that old school gym look that, you know, the original round heads would give you. And then also, if you already have round heads and you're just trying to grow them up, to 150 because they only go to 100, then they're a good option. Um, that's what we got them for, obviously, is to finish out the 100 we already had. But um, that's it. That's the similarities, that's the differences. Uh, just a short little video review here. Um, and I hope that answers any questions. Uh, actually, you know what? I did forget the, uh, the weight accuracy on these. This 100, I weighed them both just on a bathroom scale, so nothing special. And this 100, uh, about 30-year-old 100-pound dumbbell weighed 101.2 pounds, so uh, pretty close to that, that stated 100. And then the Legacy was 105.4, which is actually uh, surprisingly accurate. 
uh, wasn't wasn't expecting that, um, especially for a cast dumbbell. Both of them are pretty good, but I really wasn't expecting that uh, for a fully cast dumbbell because uh, they can be a little bit harder to uh, get accurate on weight without a lot of machining. Um, and then obviously, you know, your Yorks made in the USA, the round heads were, uh, but the Legacy is now cast in China. That's another big difference between them. So if you're looking for something made in the USA, uh, for dumbbells, I'm not sure where you could go besides uh, finding some used ones on Craigslist. But um, you know what, that's, that's it. That's, uh, that's everything, that's the differences, that's the similarities between them. You see they, they are very similar, but they're also different. Um, it's not gonna be a perfect match, but it's probably about as good as you can get, and they, they do look good on the rack next to each other. So that's it, thanks for watching, guys.